Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Forge plus Optifier. Now, a lot of people have problems with this when installing Minecraft and want to install mods plus beautiful HD graphics. So today, I'm going to be showing you how. It's pretty simple, so if you follow these steps in this tutorial, you shouldn't have a problem. Not one. But if you do, you can always go back and look at this video again and see where you may have made a mistake. Other than that, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have Forge API 110.2. So 1.10.2, and that's the newest version of Minecraft. For all the other versions, I will, um, I'm not gonna be covering those. So you'll have to uh, download and install whatever version you may be using, but I'm assuming um, like most of us, or many of you are using the newest version of Minecraft. But if not, it's the same process. You just do the same thing and um, you shouldn't have any problems. Just use your version. And like I said, you'll need, uh, for this, you'll need version Forge 1.10.2, and then you'll need Optifine HD 1.10.2. So once you have these, um, I've left the link in the description, so you will need to go here. So you're gonna go here for Forge um, for Minecraft, and then you're gonna scroll down here, and then you get to the little links, and then you install whatever version that you're using. As you can see, as you can see, there are many different versions, um, but for me, I've already downloaded the newest version, so I don't need to do this process anymore. Also, you'll need to go over to OptiFind website to get um, the Optifine HD mod as well. So you can just go here to do that, scroll down, do the same thing and download whatever version you may be using. And as you can see, there are many different versions here. Just install whichever version that you are using and you're good to go. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to need to open up your Minecraft. Once you've installed your Minecraft, Make sure before installing anything, Forge or anything else, make sure you go down below the default tab and then go to the version that you're currently using and then start it up at least once. So if you're using 1.10.2, 1.10.2, then you're going to click on 1.10.2. Um, on the top tab, you're going to select default and then you're going to hit play and then you load it up at least once, and then you're good to go. Once you've done that, you can then install Forge. So you'll click the Forge tab, and as you can see here, um, here's what the Forge one looks like. And here's what the Optifine HD one looks like. As you can see, there are jar files. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna install Forge once you set the game in 1.10.2, at least once and you hit play, you install your Forge. You can throw away the Forge jar, but you wanna keep the Optifine HD jar. Just keep it, don't throw it away because you'll need it. 
later. So once you have these two and once you've installed both of them, you just double click on both of them, install the forge, and you do the same with the Optifine install, and then you can move on to the next step. So once you've installed both of these, you want to then open your Minecraft and then you want to go to your edit profile. So here you can name it whatever you like, but you don't really have to up here at the top. You can see you can rename it, but that's fine. You don't have to. Um, you just select your forge that you just installed and then you um, it should automatically uh, link up with the forge uh, that you just installed the 110 1.10.2 so select forge and it should automatically link up with the uh, install of forge you just installed so you don't have to worry about selecting it uh, down in the in the tabs so anyway once you've done that you can allocate um, whatever how much uh, gigabytes uh, of RAM you want to use so I've allocated four gigabytes because I have eight gigs of RAM as you can see here if you have four gigs of RAM only you might want to allocate only three um, but I use four because I have eight gigs if you have 16 you might want to allocate eight or you could even do more but uh, it's completely up to you so once you've done that keep this window and then um, go over here and select open game directory or open file location so you click on that and then this will take you to um, where your dot minecraft would be located normally by typing percent app data percent and it'll take you directly to this for folder so you don't really need to um, type percent app data percent and then go into dot minecraft because this will take you directly into the dot minecraft folder okay so what you're going to do now is if you don't if you do not have a mods folder you want to create a mods folder for this particular um, for this particular folder so you're going to right click any on any empty space within there and then uh, create a mods folder uh, MODS and then uh, you're done once you've created that open it up and throw remember the Optifine HD that I told you to keep you're going to take that jar and you're going to put it into the into the mods folder that you just created okay once you do that if you want shaders you're going to want to create a shaders packs um, folder and you can have it an uppercase s or lowercase s it doesn't matter as long as you've spelled it correctly you want to create a shaders pack uh, folder like so and as you can see within my folder i already have a few shaders and i have stuff in there already so i have shaders and um i use those so anyway whatever shaders you may want to use um you can find the link in the description for uh shaders um so look down in the description there'll be different shaders you can download it's up to you whichever one you want but um the links are down in the script down in the description um, part uh, of this video so once you go there you can download whatever type of shader that you want and um, it's not too hard finding them okay so once you've done that you want to then close that up like so so once you've closed that up, you can then uh, go here. Once you've changed and allocated how much RAM you want to use, you want to hit save and then uh, exit. I can just exit because I've already saved, so I don't need to save my settings anymore. Okay, once you've done that, you want to hit play.
As you can see, your Minecraft should open right up, including um, your mods and shaders. So if you go over here to mods, as you can see, I have a few mods already active. Um, but whatever mods you want to use, you want to throw those over into the mods folder that you created earlier. That goes for your mods as well. Uh, you don't put shaders in your mod folder, but whatever mods you want to use, um, like animals or um, weapons or something like that, you put that in the mods folder. Don't take the uh, Optifine Optifine jar out of your mods folder or you're not going to be able to get your shaders in to forge uh, so along with the mods as well so um, for your shaders you're going to want to go over to the options video settings and then um, shaders And as you can see, there you have it. And there's the shaders. And you can just look, select whichever one you want. And then uh, you're good to go. So once you've done that, to test it out, just go into a game. And as you can see here, um, it's working. The mods are working and it looks really beautiful. As you can see, I'm using a render mod. Um, I'm currently uh, reconstructing my castle I built uh, maybe like last year. So I just kind of got back into doing this and I'm going to be remodeling uh, my castle and I may put some YouTube videos up about it. but. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll help you guys out um, with what I can. Also, feel free to share, like, and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace, you guys. Have fun modding and using beautiful HD graphics in Minecraft. See you guys next time. Later.